Hi, I'm your host, Thirka Gunaratnam for CMR TV Say What. And today, we're taking a look at SAVEC, the South Asian Visual Arts Center, uh, who have decided to bring together a spoken poetry along with a sound artist to combine the after effects of the Gardner Expressway protest held last year by many Canadian Tamil citizens. So I'm the executive director at SAVAC and I've been there for about three and a half years. Okay, well I'm responsible for looking after the organisation so I get all the funding, I do all the artistic programming. We work with artists so we do a variety of programs. We do um, exhibitions, we do screenings, we do interventions, we do workshops, do all kinds of things. So the South Asian Visual Arts Centre is a non-profit artist run centre. Um, we work with um, artists of South Asian background. We've been around for about 16 years. Yeah, so we're fairly well established in Toronto. We've been involved with the Tamil Studies Conference for about three or four years now, and we've been presenting artist panels at the conference. Um, this year, what we thought we would do is something a little bit different. We've um, organised workshops which have been artist led which look at the um, protests that happened throughout last year as the war in Sri Lanka was escalating. Today's workshop was um, facilitated by Gitanjali Lina and Nilan Pereira. Gitanjali is a spoken word artist and a poet, um, and Nilan is a sound artist. And so we worked with the participants in the group today to look at how sound and words were used in the protest. I'm Angela Brito. I am the media coordinator of the Tamil Studies Conference and I guess I'm also a presenter at it. Okay, and yourself? I'm Sangeetha Navaratnam and I'm a presenter at the conference and a volunteer. Okay. And um, what uh, motivated you to come up to today's event? Well, um, for me, it was just in response to protests that had happened last year. I just really wanted to hear voices that sort of hadn't been represented. Well, I had heard from some friends about how good the other workshops were. And I also know Savak does some really great things, and I've been to some of their other presentations and performances, so I thought I'd check this out. And this workshop, there is a series of workshops. This is the third um, of three that were happening, and they were over the, the span of the spring of this year and it's developing something for the Tamil Studies Conference, which happens May 13th to the 15th at the University of Toronto. And how can people be a part of that? How do they register? Yeah, you can register right now. There is, it's online at www.tamilstudiesconference.ca. And um, so this sort of, these set of workshops were developed um, in order to have a panel or a round table that's gonna happen at the conference, and that is specifically on the Saturday, which is May 15th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. How can people get involved in future events that you hold? Okay, the best thing is to go to our website, www.savac.net, and you'll find us uh, in the, you know, on the internet. Are there any future events coming up that we can know about? Um, well, the next event is uh, the round table that we're presenting as part of the Tamil Studies Conference. Um, and then we're probably going to have a quiet summer, but there's lots of stuff on our website that you can look up about projects that we've done in the past and projects that we've got coming up in the future. Um, and then we'll start up our programming again in the fall. I think SAVAC does a lot of good work in the South Asian community. It's good at drawing lots of different groups in. It also allows for a space for young um, South Asian artists to, you know, find mentors, find role models, find people who think like them and just to gain support like that from the community, which sometimes we can feel is lacking. Um, and they organize lots of great events, and they're always really interesting to attend. Annear Dinatay Munnittu Varadha Silk Tarum 10 Days Adhi Vishayda 